B. 19. Living in my college town. Doing school things. Works at IHOP. Because college town, pancake joint be swinging. A group of four guys comes in every night. Three are nice and tip well. One asshole. Asshole always gets six pancakes. After two months of dealing with them, cannot deal or JPEG. Asshole's magnitude far outweighs his friend's likability. Slowly developing cancer from asshole radiation. He seems like he hasn't mentally evolved yet. Probs bordering Todd's status. Huge muscles though. Instead of going for direct confrontation, I make a decision. I'm going to slowly, methodically, fuck his mind. Every night, one pancake gets more penal-like in nature. Maybe four to six degrees in the floppy Johnson a day. Real slow-like dog gif. Because I introduce the dick cake slowly, he doesn't notice for a while. I watch happily and giddily as he chokes a cock cake down. It begins to be the centerpiece of my day. He finally notices after it is straight up a big honking dick. Added whipped cream at the end of the urethra, blueberry. Feel a storm brewing. I deliver his penal cake one fateful day. He looks me dead in the face and asks me, Hey, decipher's name tag, letters hurt him. At uh, not on? What is this shit? I don't know. You better start talking or I'll talk to your manager. Manager. Let us refer to him as C. C is my best friend. Dastly plot, Dodge Apeg. I'll go get him for you, faggot sir. Sneak in faggot because I'm feeling extra alpha. He notices, not happy. Approach C and explain everything. He ruffle mail what the fuck BBQs all over it. Every detail. He is in on the conspiracy now. Props to C for his improv work. He sneaks in about nine penis related puns into his talk with asshole. Paraphrasing. Sir, we don't just dick around back here. My employees aren't messing with your junk. That might just be a coincidence. You need more evidence than one penis shaped pancake. Other tables over here and enjoy giggles. I'm dying in the kitchen. As our scouts, Pays walks out. Get lawyers, dot JPEG. No way this motherfucker will come back tomorrow. Just in case, C gets every employee on our shift in on it. Dumb fucker comes back. Sitting in different zone to not deal with me. Doesn't matter. This was our night to bring so many phallic references in culinary form. An army of workers ready to bring penis into every open conversation. We were armed and ready. Gentlemen, this was no ordinary penis assault. This was the All Hallows Eve of cock. All men replaced their name tags with an alias for a peen. Chuck, Dick, Peter, Johnson, and the Asian busboy, Dong. All men stuffed their front pantaloons with things to give noticeable bulge. We plan the assault in waves. Phase one begins. First waiter comes, name tag, Johnson. Takes orders, waves bulge in asshole's face. Mother, fucking, pancakes. Fool, dot JPEG. Cute dick. Brings drinks, spills assholes on himself in the cock region. Furiously cleans it two feet from asshole's face. Uproar in the kitchen. Total improv. All of our sides. Other tables get shitty service and tips will be slim tonight. Worth it. Two more waves pass. He stands. Silence in the kitchen. He comes into the kitchen. Oh shit. Troll in the dungeon. Dot gif. We skitter. C takes over and calms him down. Should have been a counsellor. Final wave commence. He had seen Dong clean the previous spill and called wind of the name tags after that. I stroll out. He looks pissed as fuck. I hand him not one, but six straight up cocks. No disputing. Bacon pubes, cherry herpes, whipped cream jizz. My name tag for this evening? Penis. He rages and punches me cold. Wake up in the hospital. All employees are around my bed. Wake up to applause. Broken nose, but oh so worth it. Never see him again. We are known henceforth as IHOC. International House of Cock.